Yeah, so here I am just outside the Emirates, just come out after watching Liverpool get beat 3 2 by Arsenal. Um, same old problems, really, from a Liverpool perspective. Um, too weak at the back, too vulnerable. Concede first, yet again, very early on the game. Never really got set, never managed to get a foothold because of that. But probably more frustratingly, the fact that when we did put passes of play together, we actually managed to hurt Arsenal. So, just a really frustrating afternoon, evening to football again, really, because we're just seeing the same old mistakes, um, pretty much regardless of formation. Like, I think a lot of people thought that we'd cracked it with the change to the 4 2 4 this week, but quite clearly not because, yet again, we look vulnerable, we're losing tackles, we're losing too many battles. Arsenal carved through us, you know, two or three times there, and the third goal obviously comes from a penalty. First two, for me, it's just too easy. Some individual errors as well as some collective errors. And the defending for the third is just shambolic from start to finish, quite frankly. Like, we never managed to clear our lines at any point. It was almost schoolboy, uncharacteristic as well from this Liverpool side. Like, we don't expect it at all. It's, we're not used to seeing it like in, in years gone by. Obviously, this season, it's becoming all too familiar, to be fair. But... Uh, a little bit exasperated really watching it because like I say just we're seeing it time and time again now and Jurgen Klopp and, and the coaching staff can't seem to find the answer whether it be personnel or tactical or formation we just can't seem to solve the same problems and it's worrying because obviously we're miles off the pace in terms of league title now you could arguably say that's done and dusted that's gone but top four looks in massive jeopardy because not only the results poor, but the performances aren't of a side that's going to make the top four right now. It's just not the case at all. Like We can all lie to each other and say, oh, we'll be sound, but it just doesn't look like happening right now, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, the plus points of Devarvini, I suppose, we did look a goal threat, like I say, again, I don't know how much of that was down to Arsenal not quite being the defensive side that they probably should be if they're going to mount a title challenge. But from a Liverpool perspective, too weak, too vulnerable, too passive at times in defence and yeah just really not pretty uh, really not pretty unfortunately from from start to finish I'd have to say and having got ourselves back in the game a few times we managed to sort of let go of any sort of stranglehold again like we can see it in the first few minutes and you think here we go again get ourselves back in the game and then just before half time to concede from our own free kick as well like we've got an opportunity and instead we end up three on three and four on three in their favour and they score right before half time not good not good at all unfortunately but yeah we uh we live to fight another day in many respects um and we try and go again if we can starting in midweek but yeah not good reds not good at all Get closer to Liverpool Football Club and the amazing city of Liverpool with Red Men Plus. More content for your eyes and ears, documentaries, extra bonus Red Men shows, podcasts, features, interviews. Get close to the culture of Liverpool Football Club on Red Men Plus.